I found it almost impossible uh, to read these hideous books. And at their trials, however, I had the good fortune of often facing for the defense the famous QC, John Mortimer, and uh, author of the very human and humane rump hole of the Bailey. And uh, he'd turn up. Often enough, he'd want his clients to plead guilty. He'd approach the judge in private, and the judge, terrified, would say, well, yes, Mr. Mortimer, no, Mr. Mortimer, yes, Mr. Mortimer. Well, I agree, Mr. Mortimer, only very slightly corrupting, and yes, of course, your client can have a suspended sentence. Yeah, thank you very much, and that would happen. Occasionally, he had to fight the cases, contest them for some reason or another, and so he made it clear that he never read the books, which he always held upside down if he touched them at all, <laughs> and uh, dressing them, as you remember, his, eye, his glasses used to be a bit like that. He'd give them his usual and famous freedom of speech address that always knocked for six these extraordinary passages in the book that it seemed to me were inevitably corrupting, and I always lost. <laughs> 